Greetings. Today we're going to talk about three MicroFocus customer portals. Two of them cover the entire MicroFocus product portfolio, one specific to ArcSight. And with that, we'll go ahead and jump right in. The three different portals we'll go ahead and do a quick overview of. The first one is MicroFocus Community uh, from an ArcSight perspective, formerly known as Protect 724 and some of the other products. Um, this community area for all MicroFocus products covers blogs, news articles, product announcements, product documentation. Uh, so we'll go ahead and walk through that a little bit. The second one is the MicroFocus Marketplace. And in the Marketplace, this is where you can explore applications, add-ons, and more to expand the functionality of your MicroFocus software products. It's also a place where you can find links to things like MicroFocus product trials, or if you'd like more information from sales, we've got links from the Marketplace out to those respective locations as well. And then finally, there's the MicroFocus ArcSight Content Brain. And the ArcSight Content Brain tool helps you visualize and track business challenges, attack vectors, best practice SIM solutions. They're going to be easily deployed at no cost, helping you improve your posture and reduce your risk. With the MicroFocus Community page, you can see access to blogs, news, product announcements. For example, on this page on the right-hand side, you can see a link to key links. So there you can see things like product idea exchanges, additional news, generic security news and events. Um, on the left-hand side of the page, all of the different MicroFocus product portfolio links. So for example, I'll go ahead and click on security as one example. And when I go ahead and click on security, what you'll see is a list of all of the MicroFocus security products. And you can get more details about any one of these products just by clicking on it. For example, I'll go ahead and use ArcSight as one example. And within the ArcSight link, you can see a list up at the top of all of the different major areas. For example, ArcSight subspaces for individual products, for example, user discussions, tips, ArcSight product announcements, for example, new releases or patches or updates, and then things like ArcSight documentation. I'll go ahead and click on that. So for all the different MicroFocus products, you can start at the top, click down the link on the product in which you're interested, and then get things like all the product documentation for all the different releases of all the different products. And if you jump back up to the very, very top of the community, for example, you'll get an overview of across all the different product portfolios. As you scroll down, you can see the latest blogs. So here's different feedback items for different events or different uh, sessions that are being run by MicroFocus. You can see the list of contributors. So when you sign on and you register, you can actually contribute your own knowledge to the community page as well. And one of the great areas about the community page is that it's monitored by product management, professional services, sales engineering, and even partners as well. So feel free to contribute to the community, take advantage of the information that's posted in the community, and know that you're getting feedback across all the different MicroFocus products from a variety of experts in those product sets as well. So when we click over to the MicroFocus Marketplace, this is the area we can explore applications, add-ons, uh, to expand the functionality of your different MicroFocus software products. Um, and you can search for something specific at the very top. There's a search bar. Uh, but if you go ahead and scroll down, you can see different marketplace areas that are dedicated to different MicroFocus products. So for example, I'll go ahead and click on the ArcSight Marketplace section to start there. So within the ArcSight Marketplace, uh, this is where we continue to release new rule sets or dashboards or content uh, based on the latest cyber threats uh, and vendor security products to which we have integrations. Uh, there'll also be things where as we release new products, there'll be some announcements about those products in the top part of the marketplace as well. Um, now, if I go ahead and scroll down, what you can do is see all the different content broken out a few different ways, whether it's the newest content or popular based on downloads or featured if we have something brand new um, or we've got a partnership, for example, that we're announcing. In the category section, you can see all the different pieces of content available for download. Uh, in some cases, it could be partner created versus uh, microfocus created, flex connectors, smart connectors, um, different things along those lines. Now I'll go ahead and click on Activate Packages. Activate's a framework primarily for ESM uh, to provide ways to quickly and easily detect different threats of different levels. Uh, there's three different levels of Activate content. Uh, level one is indicators and warnings. Level two is situational awareness. Level three is impact and threat analysis. And for all the different products uh, to which we provide support, there's different levels of Activate content, starting with a base that can be downloaded for free from the marketplace. And in general, unless otherwise noted, uh, content will be free. Occasionally, there'll be partner content that may come with a small fee. Uh, but you can see in the upper right-hand corner of any piece of content the status of whether it's free or if there's a fee associated with it. And so all of this content is available through the marketplace, again, using ArcSight as the example here, 
but you can go ahead and log on, sign in, download the content that you need, and even link in the marketplace to things like ArcMC to make that connection between your ArcSight infrastructure that much more seamless. And the last page we'll go ahead and click on is the ArcSight Content Brain. And the ArcSight Content Brain is a companion to the marketplace specific to ArcSight. Um, and this tool will help you visualize and track business challenges about what you're interested in, the different sets of content that's available, and whether you've downloaded or not, and what stage you've got that in deployment. And so by implementing new content, you can continually redefine the use cases, the correlation rules, the kinds of content that you have deployed, and the Content Brain will help you keep track of that. Um, and so with the Content Brain, I've gone ahead and logged in. You can see on the left-hand side the different levels of content we talked about, on the right-hand side the different kinds of products that you might have for which you want content. And as you scroll down, what you'll see is a set of business challenges. And so these are those use cases about what are you interested in. We've got a list of the packages that are available. We've got a status column so that as you download content, you can mark what stage it's in. For example, you're planning to deploy it or you're testing it, for example. And then a list of all the individual solutions that are available. And so if I scroll down, for example, just as uh, one use case and do something like entity monitoring, I can see that for entity monitoring, there's a level one package. Uh, there's a particular attack vector I'm interested in, terminated user account. When you go ahead and click on that particular solution of interest, on the right-hand side, it'll give you a breakdown of what that content covers. What level, a description, ESM or logger, for example, and then it provides a link directly to Marketplace. And then you can download it and apply it. And then with that status of blue, for example, you've got details about where it is in your planning cycle. And so for all of these things together, go ahead and close those back up. The content brain will let you track all the content, find quick, easy ways of, I'm interested in this content for this particular type of data source, which level it is, and then track which stage you are in your deployment of that content. So taking together these three MicroFocus portal links, the MicroFocus community, the MicroFocus marketplace, and in the case of ArcSight, the MicroFocus ArcSight content brain, taken together can help you keep up to date, manage and monitor and track all the different information about the different MicroFocus products about which you have deployed or you might be interested in deploying. So thank you very much for your time. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to MicroFocus, your sales representative, or your local sales engineer. Thank you.